You, was there mathematical debates? Is that the 8th or the 16th? It was a pretty long conversation that yeah. I sort of had to take a step out of because when I was in 12th grade, I was in 10th grade math. So I stepped, uh, I stepped out of that one. But yes, I think it was 16 walls. Although now that I think about it, it could be four with the exponent of four, and it could be and, four. And, yes, and, and everyone is asleep. This is great. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> Mrs. Goodman's an all guild too, Paul. Yeah, I know. Bring the A game. Um, everybody, when they go home, is going to watch this movie again on their uh, DVD player, and they're going to pause it as, at various moments, because there are a lot of things that you can miss in a theater like this. And I'm going to go finally over the Deadpool list. Yay or nay if this person is on the Deadpool list? Charlie Sheen? I don't think he's on the um, list. I don't know. He is. Might be Martin. Amanda Bynes? Maybe Martin. Um, Amanda Bynes, I don't know. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf? Shia is on the list, I think. Yeah. Lindsay Lohan? Lord, isn't Shia yeah. 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 yeah, they're on the list. Ryan Reynolds is on the list. That's, that was the last <laughs> one, spoiler! Ryan Reynolds. So bad. Bill Cosby's on the board. Bill Cosby's on the list. <laughs> Vladimir Putin's on the list. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you know. I think we all. I think we all have a list, right? <laughs> yeah. I think for the sequel, will be updated. Um, I'm not gonna say with whom. What happens next with this character? Where does it go? You know, more of the same. I think again, the the key for us is to come up with something wholly original. Uh, and and that is a challenge, and, and it's a challenge that we love doing. You know, we continue to sit in rooms and, and discuss ideas and make each other laugh. I think that's the key, is if we're making each other laugh, I think we're in, usually in pretty good shape, so. Ryan, you spend X number, a long time making this movie. It's an uphill fight, you get a green lit, you get the script right, you shoot it, you cut it, and then it comes out. What was the satisfaction? Is it the reviews? Is it seeing people queue up around the block, watching it with an audience? Where did it actually hit you that like it was all worth it, all the all uh, the fighting? I think the, that you know in Hollywood anything can happen, but you know once in a while the long game pays off, and I never thought it would pay off for me. I, I also look at I mean I look at it practically. Like I, I was I was I was in Green Lantern. I mean I was not I was not the the go to guy for superhero movies. So you know I, I I have to thank Fox for taking a chance on me and letting me you know take another crack into that genre, but also. You know, I, I think I also have to lean on the fact of the specificity of the character. I mean, he's so specific and has such a specific voice, and it's something that I feel like since I was 25 was kind of like an alter ego of mine. So to get it, to see it up on the big screen, and also just to be running around in Halloween and just watching, you know, 650,000 Deadpools in the streets of New York City was kind of cool. So, you know, stuff like that, you just sort of pinch yourself and you're like, what? Like, that's just absolutely crazy. So, um, yeah, I think that that's the thing I'm probably most, most grateful for, you know. And just, just, you know, the shooting experience was just, was incredible, you know, that crew and that cast and, and these guys, and it was just such a, it was such a tight unit, and that doesn't happen all the time, so. Last question for the audience. How many people here have seen the movie twice? Show of hands. Wow. Three times. Oh. Four. Five. Wow. Yeah. Six. I'm going to skip ten. Anybody at ten? No. That's insane. 